background here again. Um, I told me to look at some protective clothing for general shop usage and a little bit for protection for welding and grinding. So I opted for, I mean you could have overalls, but I think they're a little bit too cumbersome to put on and off in, in my usage. So um, I don't really climb under cars and stuff. So I opted for this, um, this here, this is an apron style. And this is some um, um, fire retarded, so it won't start burning. And it's reasonably um, durable for, um, you know, from so it can endure some level of sparks. And then it has lots of pockets also. So this is my, my first option. And then of course there's, a, there's a, a lot of adjustments one can do, so I haven't made it perfect yet. So, you click it behind. And then when it comes to the length of the apron, then I like the style where these go be, uh, below the knees because then if you're going to like sit down and grind or weld something then you have, you have this part going over your, over your knees. So, there. I just had a little bit more adjustment on the straps and then we're ready to go. And then uh, very useful to have pockets on. There's lots of these aprons that don't have pockets. So it's very important to be able to store stuff. So, and then the other thing that I purchased is, um, and this is actually more dedicated towards, um, you know, welding and grinding work. So this is a, a jacket, and it has two parts, so you can actually remove, since I already have this whole protection thing, so, so I can actually take away the, um, or have the option to remove the apron bit. And then it's um, open at the back. Thing that's made of leather, you need to use it to get it sort of <laughs> to to work with you and fit better. Well, that's the same with boots and everything that are made of leather. So the first first time you use them, they're horrible, and then after you use them for for a while, then um, they actually start working with you. And as you see, the thing is that I have this apron bit here so you know in cold in cold weather I'll probably because in my region we get quite cold weather so I'll probably be using this when it's colder weather then I can actually have this as an extra extra layer for warmth. to put the last button in. Up there, so you have 
So, anyway, in this configuration, I mean, I, I actually am not very keen on getting, um, you know, welding sparks or grinding sparks on me. I mean, I know there are people that do both welding and, and grinding work with just a pair of shorts and a t-shirt, but yeah, I, I think it's actually nicer to do that kind of work when one has a reasonable amount of, because then one's not worried about getting burnt. One can actually focus on the actual job, and then if things fl flings fly off stuff, um, then um, they're very much um, better protected if you have a little bit of extra gear. It's a bit of a funny configuration. It's only one button, so it's probably you can choose how tight you want to have. So, anyway, so that's the next layer. As I said this is optional, the secondary apron, so I can sure move that out. And this gives good arm protection, so if sparks fly on your arms and stuff, then they won't get through. And then the last piece of the puzzle is good gloves. Also, um, the same thing, these are fire retarded. You can actually pick up a burning log with these. Feel anything well protected inside, and they're also long, so that they actually cover. And push that in there. And it comes over the welding, welding jacket. sparks down in, into places where they're not supposed to be going. So anyway, with, uh, with this ge gear, you know, you are, you know, you're ready for, um, you know, with the apron, it's pretty much for general shop use. And then um, the welding jacket can also be used for general use or then for if you're going to do grinding. And then uh, the gloves, basically the gloves are pretty much um, needed if, um, you can have um, a little bit smaller working gloves if you're doing grinding, actually, but if you're doing welding, then it's actually nice. So now you can actually focus on the actual work at hand and not being wor worried about getting so much worried about being burnt by sp flying sparks and stuff. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, um, consider subscribing. Uh, there'll be more content around this setup. and. Um, and or click the like button if you thought the video was worth it. Um, if you'd like to support the channel and more projects and stuff, there's some links available. You can buy me a cup of coffee or, or some merch. And um, I'll see you in the next one.